guys, it's Aaron Pirelli from AJB Fishing. We're getting to that time of year where everybody wants to throw jerk baits, okay? But guys are a little bit nervous about switching out their hooks on certain jerk baits because if you put a heavier hook or a smaller hook, they're worried about the balancing, okay? Whether or not it's gonna sink or it's gonna suspend. Now, I got here the, uh, some of the hooks and brands that we're gonna use. I'm gonna show you a booklet. We're gonna put them on a scale. We're gonna break down a diagram because Honestly, you're learning some of the best techniques from Tactical Bassin and some of these other guys, but when they tell you, maybe you guys just think, well, what's the best size or what's this? Is it going to change it? You can see it firsthand right now on what the hooks are going to weigh with the bait, and I'm going to break it down for you nice and easily. Let's do this together. All right, guys, stick around. All right, so let's check this out. Uh, two of the companies and two of the bigger ones that a lot of guys like to switch out on their Mega Bass 110s, okay, is the Mustad KBD one time strong, two time short shank, triple grip. Excellent hook in number four and number six. And the other one is the Gamagatsu G Finesse short shank with the nano coat. Okay, that's Aaron Martin's hook. And the other one is obviously the Cassage hooks, uh, the Outbarb number six that come with the original bait. Now let's just see, we'll just put this on tear. We're gonna go right to ounces, okay? Now that we're on ounces, let's just take an original bait. Okay, this is an original bait. This is a 2000, I'm sorry, 2001 GG Perch. Okay, let's put that on, see what it says. That says 49, okay? So that's a half ounce bait. Now you're saying to yourself, well, that's the older styles. Well, what about the newer styles? Are they around the same size? Well, let's see. We'll take this one off, okay? And we'll add a, this is a, I believe it's the 2012. This is the Wagon, the Wagon IU. Okay, everything is the same, same hook setup, same, uh, all, all the rings, split rings, everything's all the same with Cassage hooks, okay? Four nine again, okay? That's important to know. So you know you're next to that half ounce area of what you wanna be, okay? Now, let's start off with the basics, okay? Here's a 2001 Pro Blue. All the hardware is on it except for the uh, Cassage hooks. Let's put it on the scale. Should be around 46. Oh, I'm sorry, put it in the center so it reads better. Okay, but we did bit of the baits are still jiggling around. Hold on, it might pick up in a second. 42, it's definitely not 42. Let me see here. This is a okay, so we'll call it 42 right now. But once the beads start settling down and relax, it'll be all right. Add three cassage hooks. Okay, it's at 46 right now. All right. This is an old 2009, I'm sorry, it's a 49. See, it finally registered. After a little while, the beads settled down and it'll start registering. Now that's three Kasage hooks, okay? Size six, it's up to 49. Let's take off the Kasage hooks, okay? And now let's add the, we'll say we're gonna add the Mustads, okay? This is the Mustad size six, okay? The short shank KVDs. Let's put the size six on there. 49. Okay, so they didn't change the bait at all, all right? So you know those work. Let's take these off, okay? Let's put on the Mustad size fours, okay? The size four, let's go heavier. This is at 49, okay? The size fours are a little bit beefier, but they're still saying at 49, all right? Let's take these off and make sure it goes again back over to 46 before we weigh these again. Let's put the bait on. I think the beads are, yeah, the beads are rolled to the back. So here we go, 42, let's see, 46 is gonna circle out, 46. Let's put the fours back on. There you go, 53. So the Mustads, the number fours are at 53, registered off the bait of being 46, okay? So they are heavier, all right? So you're obviously gonna get a little bit of a sinking uh, type with the Mustad size fours because they're bigger hooks, all right? Now let's go to what everybody wants to throw, which is the Nano Coats, okay? The Nano Coats are a very, very important bait. The G Finesse, they're amazing baits. Let's see what we got here. We'll start with the size uh, sixes, all right? This is what the size six Nanos look like. All right, they come in the box right here and Actually, I could just give you a bait with them on it. I'm gonna give you what they are with the bait on it. This is a Mossback Yellowfin. These already have the size six nano coats. This is one of my own baits, okay? This is a 2000, um, 2000 bait, original Mossback Yellowfin with the nanos. 
49 on the button, okay? Now that's with a size six G finesse from Aaron Martins. Let's put the empty bait back on. We're at 46, okay, it settled out right away. Let's put the size fives on, size five nano coats, okay? Bam, 49. You didn't change the suspension, you didn't change the buoyancy at all. You're still gonna get a beefier hook and you're still gonna land some big fish with these sticky hooks, just like the, um, just like the Mustad size sixes, okay? But guys are worried about, and they want that shorter shank hook. This is a shorter shank hook, these G finesses. But you can get a little bit bigger, a little beefier, and they don't bend out like the Cassage hooks. Cassage hooks are great hooks, but sometimes they, they bend out or they, you know, sometimes the, uh, the, the guys don't like the out barb or they're too long where you're holding the bait and you're working your bait with Cassage hooks and you're bringing it back and something's stuck in the back this way or the middle hook is stuck in the back and it's coming back all fouled. You don't want that, okay? So let's take off the fives and let's go to the bigger ones. Let's go to the G Finesse um, size four, okay? Aaron Martin size four in the G Finesse, okay? These are obviously bigger, but bam, 49, okay? They are still good baits, okay? They're still gonna have that um, suspending action. You're gonna be all right on the water. It's not gonna change up your, you know, your casting and your retrieving and your stuff as much as you think. The size fours though, I did notice, even though the weight is the same on the scale, okay, the only difference is it will slowly sink. But if you're working the bait fast and you're using a size four, you really don't care because you're working it fast. It's still not gonna get fouled up on the back. You know, you're bringing it in at a faster retrieve, okay? You're not worried about that suspending motion. Your best bet, honestly, what I've used and I swear by is the fives, okay? The fives and the G Finesse are, I mean, they are dead nuts on everything. They stay, they stick. I mean, fish are not getting away with these G Finesses, okay? So quick overview, let's put the fours back. Let's take off the G, uh, GP Pro Blue, the original. Okay, put this down. This is the one, like I said, has the nano coat and the size fives. These hooks are absolutely insane and sharp as anything. Okay, let's throw it back on. We're gonna have a half ounce bait, 49. So if you wanna switch out for a stout, beefy hook, I'm telling you right now, the G Finesse fives, and if you wanna go with the different bend, the Mustad sixes, short shank KVDs are good. But I mean, look at these. It's hard to pinch those together. That's hard to pinch them. That's a stout hook on there, okay? The size five G Finesse Nanos, and here's a size six Kaseji, the original hooks that come with the bait. Now, look how easy you can work that wire. That wire is very thin, all right? So, I'm gonna do a quick breakdown. I'm gonna give you guys all the numbers on here, okay? And show you which ones are the best, but right now, Gamma Gatsu G Finesse, short shank with the Nano Coat, Aaron Martin series, size fives. I'm going to write down the weights and do a still picture of this. I hope you guys like this video because it's going to be important for you to make that determination and decision whether or not you want to change out your hooks or keep them because these are solid companies, Mustad and the uh, Gamagatsu. Obviously the fours are heavier so it is going to sink a little bit on the Mustads and the fours are a little heavier also on the um, G Finesse. So make up your own mind if you want to change out your Cassage hooks go for it, but these are the hooks that you want with your Vision 110s, okay? Hope you liked the video. Thumbs up, subscribe, enjoy. Get out there, catch a slob, all right? Take care.